First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. And now a timeout coming from the defensive side for the Packers. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. Throwing now is Carr. Got a man open, it's Darren Waller. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. Taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It will. On play action, now Carr. That's caught by Walter out left side. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Ran the perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. That is incomplete. Jair Alexander that time able to knock that one away. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just scared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Carr, a handoff here to Drake. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. But one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, with that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Stop your body. 
Throwing again on second and ten. Carr. Man open. That's Henry Ruggs. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Now Carr. Got his connection complete to Ruggs. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Running from the shotgun with Drake. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Here's Drake one more time on second down. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Give it to Jacobs. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Josh Jacobs, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated, doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts the defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal four and taken. First and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now the man from UTEP. This is Aaron Jones. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast and in the open field. But, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning upfield. But also, when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Jones. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantlick. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 35. A very solid gain of 27. And the Packers, first down. 
first down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. tying this thing up. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. Team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Vegas about set to begin the drive and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. come up first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. On play action, it's Carr. It's brought incomplete. It's John Brown. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, a 22. Carr now on first down. And he'll go underneath here to Drake. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 
Ten more there and another first down. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now a play fake, Carr. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Car to throw again. He finds his target, John Brown. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. And they keep those sticks moving forward that time with a gain of three. First down is Carr. This will be caught once again by Brown. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Give him nine there on the first down completion. second down it's Jacobs and he'll go down here at the 12 yard line four yards the pickup first down now that's the way to do it hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add a little, little bit of power and you find a way to pick up first downs from down at the 12 it's first and 10 They fake the handoff. Now Carr. And that is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Darren Waller there to make the grab. And the Raiders have taken the lead. And he's such a talented tight end. Just creates nightmarish tight matchups on the other side. He's so good that when we say tight end, we're almost damning him the fake brains on him because he can do it all. He's as good as any receiver in the NFL. He's a wide receiver, just in a bigger body. Bigger body, a matchup nightmare, and who's going to cover it? When I sit in the film session, I just look at the coach and say, really? Really? You're going to yell at me? You go cover it. up past the 40-yard line. So good field position for the Packers as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. Coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches' two-minute drill. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Well, they lulled them to sleep there, so to speak. That was all set up by the running game, wasn't it? Another example of what all offensive coordinators tell us. When the running game's operating, it really opens up the playbook. And that's when they hit them with the play action. And you can see the defenders rushing towards the line of scrimmage, then scrambling back trying to cover. Couldn't get there in time. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 13. Takes this one back into the end zone, and the Raider defense delivers a score. That was a nice catch, and not by the guy you thought it was going to be. How about the defender turning into an offensive player so the ball hits his hands, and off he goes, off to the races, and into the end zone. Extra point by Carson up and good, and it's now 21 to 7. as that goes out of bounds. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. He's going to air one out. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Again from the 41. Rodgers now to throw. Caught by Cobb. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Swing out here to Jones. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. That's to his running back, complete. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Rodgers again now. 
Drops it to Jones in the flat. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action. Ready for the third quarter. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. ready to get their next drive underway. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? They're paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks. I just... And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And the Raiders pick it up. So it's a turnover there on the lost fumble. And this third quarter could not really have started worse. I think that's a great observation because this was a close game at the half. They gave up the touchdown the opening drive. Now they turn over the football. This game, it can get away from them pretty quickly if their defense doesn't step up right here. And with the play clock winding down, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. So after the fumble recovery, it's Carr. This is going to be caught. It's John Brown. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Jacobs on first and 10. And a short gain down to about the 33. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. On play action. Now Carr. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. to the 24 on third down. Shotgun now for Carr. And he fires one that's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Ah! 
The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Good work. I like it, though. Because you're exactly you right. That, don't you? All came long. They've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that wording symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. And he gets six. That'll leave him with third and four. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. A check down here to Jones. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. But down two scores, I guess they felt like they needed to go for it. They must have thought they had a play to dial up that they could get it. It eh, didn't work out. Had, they must have thought, as you pointed out, they had a play. And they were probably looking at the number of possessions that they thought were left in the game. And down two scores, they must have felt like they couldn't risk not taking a shot here and giving up that chance. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And he will bring it out past the 20-yard line. Well, this offense, yeah, they keep wanting more and more and more, but they kind of got to be careful here, CD. I mean, we're still in the third quarter. This game isn't over yet. I would agree with you there because while they've had all kinds of success and hit on some deep balls like this, the one thing they can't do is start to get loose with the football. A lot of time left, as you mentioned, and if they keep turning it over, they'll bring them back into the game. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. A throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. On first down, Rodgers. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Rodgers now on first down. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scantling. strong as some of these guys are especially when you see them in full pads it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move that was incredible and that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards so just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear he was an absolute blur out there no substitute for speed we talk about that all the time the evidence was right there yeah and the final tally as told by next gen stats he hit 21 and a half miles per hour whoa Crosby with the extra point, and that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And not a good return here at all as he'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. Offense set to get this drive started. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Eluding the pressure right. And now the ball's out. Carr lost it. Fumble. And the Packers pick it up. So turnovers, Charles, you figure will be key in the second half, and that's a big giveaway there. Yeah, and as you and I both know, coaches are always preaching ball security, and none more often than right here in the second half of a tight football game. Now you've got to believe what the coaches are saying and take care of that football. 
So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Rodgers. He hits Adams complete. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. They'll try to run it in with Jones. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And that will tie our game here in the third. Teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. So you can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield, punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. From the 29, Carr. And he's got the hookup to Ruggs. First down Vegas as Carr finds Ruggs that time. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On play action, it's Carr. He's going deep for Brown. It got his man complete. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. And most people think of Derek Carr kind of as a guy who excels throwing the short pass, but he can dial it up when need be. And I'm telling you, nothing will let up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receivers streaking downfield, and you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. What a connection there for the touchdown. And that one's spanning at even 65 yards in the air, according to Next Gen Stats. Carlson on for the PAT. And it's good. That makes it a 28-21 game. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And on the return from his end zone, Malik Taylor. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Come <laughs> on. 
The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. Divine Diablo there to make the stop. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 23 yards on the play. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it, and he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. Now, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball, and I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. And he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr taken down. It's Preston Smith. He gets the sack there. He seemed to have a reasonable amount of time in the pocket, but he couldn't get rid of the football. And the end result, Charles, him on the ground. Yeah, he's got to keep an internal clock to go along with his offensive line. When you're talking about three, four, five seconds. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Preston Smith, his second sack of the night. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. So now Carr and the Raiders dealt a third and long after that sack. Now a play fake. Carr. And he'll find Ruggs on the right side. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. They go with Jacobs, and they are going to stop him on fourth and one as they'll wind up going backwards. 
Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. So first and ten after a big mistake on fourth down with a penalty. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. That's caught by his tight end, Foster Moreau. And he takes it down deep into Green Bay territory. I tell you, for a defender, that's got to be a scary sight, seeing a big man like this with a head of steam behind him as he makes that catch and then turns up field. Play action. Now it's Carr. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. Devondre Campbell flies in to blow that play up. On any first and goal, the real estate to work with for the offense is really cut down, and the defense knows it. So they often bring heat and pressure, which they did on this play. Got him down for a loss. Not a big one, but any loss of yardage in this position is tough for an offense. Second down and goal. Carr. That is caught by Brown. Touchdown, Raiders. Third touchdown pass now for Derek Carr. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. We talk so often about how hard it is to win in the NFL when you turn the ball over. And here a late turnover leads to a fourth quarter touchdown and a two-score lead. And what's more important is being able to take advantage when a turnover presents itself. You've got to come up with points to make the other guy pay. They're able to do so here, and they've got a pretty good chance now. been a busy man five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead following the touchdown ready to kick it away is Carlson Fair catch signal four and take it successfully. Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. It's complete. Lazard. And he's out right at the 25. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, I, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. the gun on third down. Rodgers. Pass complete. It's Adams. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 
The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Throwing is Rodgers. Complete Dylan. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. From midfield, here's Rodgers. And this is caught. Mercedes Lewis with a grab. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 28. Now the Packers are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Now it's Rodgers. This complete to Jones. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. When we see another great performance like this out of Aaron Rodgers, you have to chuckle thinking that his only FBS offer was a walk-on at Illinois. And now he's the pride of Butte Junior College, of course, at Cal. And I remember watching him play at Cal, and he would run seven-on-seven -seven drills angry if the ball ever hit the ground and didn't do it. And it's a Packers touchdown. Mercedes Lewis from eight yards out. And the Packers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Takes it at the seventh. And not a good return at all. Down inside the 10, all the way back at the seventh. set to get this drive started and this one all over but the shouting you might say now there's one timeout remaining defensively but probably no real need to use it here yeah the only time they would use it strictly for pride oh and this one incomplete the pressure got to him as he released it and it's second down i think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there there weren't really any throwing lanes but the best part for him he's got second and third down to fall back on going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Now Carr. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Stokes. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. Yeah. 
Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. <laughs> 